Hopkinton Hillers Boys Soccer celebrated senior night before hosting Medfield on the new Hopkinton High School turf fields. Number nine, Mustafa Eldabri, accompanied by Dad Abraham, Mom Dina, and brothers Mutaz and Mon. Justin Normando, accompanied by Dad Kevin and Mom Jamie. And number 10, a captain, Michael Kuzakai, accompanied by Dad Tom and Mom Laura.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the brand new turf fields here at Hopkinton High School. It's boys varsity soccer on HCAM, and tonight is senior night. Tom Nappy, happy to be on the call tonight. Matt Clark is our cameraman as the 7 4 and 4 Hopkinton Hillers meet up with the 10 5 and 1 Medfield Warriors. The Hillers in their home green jerseys and Medfield in their away white. And we are underway here at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. The Hillers would love to take this game. They have clinched a playoff spot by getting a victory in their last game. Brought them to 18 points overall. That's all you need to get in. But the Hillers, of course, want to rack up some more points in the remaining couple games left this season. Uh, maybe try to get a home game in the first round as they work in midfield territory. Pass over to the far side. Mafiori trying to put it up in the attack zone. And we'll talk about some of the seniors throughout this broadcast on this Hillers team. Certainly some very good contributors as Landon York works it over to the far side. Aired out to the attack zone. And there's a header by the defender for Medfield. So the Hillers established possession early, but now let's see what Medfield can do as Michael Vachon was looking to the near side. Out of bounds it goes. Just in front of Owen Previtt. Throw in for the Hillers. Pass by Lacerda for Medfield. Warriors have high hopes for this postseason, 10-5 and one overall, 21 points. Hillers, 7-4 four and four, 18 points. Great improvement from last year for the Hillers. And they didn't qualify for the postseason last year, so they are certainly happy to be there this season. It's, it's been a, it was a great job by Coach Sawyer. Is Bedfield on the attack here? Can they get the shot off? Not so much as Andrew Keeley able to catch up with Owen Previtt. And it's aired away by Niall Kelly, the goaltender for the Hillers. Warriors working up the far side. Hopkinton, they're going to have to be aggressive in this game, establish possession. Warriors are known to have offensive explosions from time to time, so you certainly don't want to allow them too many shots on net. As the Hillers working their way upfield. Polico airs it out, and it's grabbed by the goalkeeper. And aired away. Hillers trying to work their way back upfield. Jonathan David is the goalkeeper for the Warriors. As Medfield works down the near side, Good pass over to Pucci. Shot there, and it's diverted by a defender. Pretty good pass by the Warriors. And a good job working their way into the attack zone as we get a whistle here. Hillers will have a free kick. A nice fall night tonight. Temperatures in the high 30s. Beautiful skies above us. And the good thing is, no rain in the area. And it rained quite a bit yesterday. Some pop-up storms throughout the area. And actually some tornadoes as well in northern Rhode Island and in southern Massachusetts. Fortunately, it doesn't seem like anybody was reported being hurt by any of those tornadoes, but certainly some wild weather recently. I'm sure the Hillers, considering this wild weather, are certainly happy to have these turf fields in place for senior night as Nathan Perry aired that one out of bounds. So got the football field behind me. It certainly looks like it's in good condition, ready to go for tomorrow's Hillers football playoff game. But having this game tonight and then football tomorrow might be tough for that grass surface after all the rain we have had recently. As 
Trying to work his way down as was shown. Nice job by Andrew Palaco getting in front of him. Andrew Keeley brings that one back to Kelly, who will air it out. Andrew Palaco, nice pass over to the near side to Povacad. And now along the near side is Brennan White for Medfield. Pass over to midfield, and here comes the Warriors once again. But Eli Peterson has something to say about that. In the center circle, that was Puvakad. Hillers trying to work their way into the attack zone. The midfield defense holding up so far. Up the far side now. Towards the end line, just kept in. It was a nice job trying to center it towards Justin Normando. Will be a throw in from the far sideline for the Hillers. That was a good job by Mafiori trying to find Normando in the box. Or actually, that was Matt Bird, rather, as the Warriors try to work their way back into Hillers' territory. Header by Keeley. Now along the near side, Palaco. And stole it away. Here come the Warriors as Vachon is able to send it out in front. Back to the goaltender. And Niall Kelly airs that one out. Hillers. Boys soccer started off the season with a loss to Holliston and a little bit of a rough start, but really turned it around. And did a tremendous job working their way into a postseason spot. Of course, three more games, including this one, left of the regular season for the Hillers. And we'll certainly have as much playoff coverage as possible right here on HCAM. The boys soccer, girls soccer, and field hockey. As Peterson working his way up the near side, looking for a shot here, and it is just wide to the left. Well, it was good vision by Eli Peterson, but a little too much mustard on that shot. The Warriors will send it away. Well, in case you... Uh, didn't get to see the senior ceremony. We'll mention some of the seniors on the Hillers roster this year. You got goalkeeper Niall Kelly, Eli Peterson, Matthew Bird, Landon York, Andrew Keeley, as the Warriors work down the far side. A whole lot of good seniors on this Hillers roster. Mustafa Elgabrai, Michael Pov Povacad, Justin Normando, Andrew Palaco. As we get a whistle here, this is going to be a free kick for Medfield. Peyton Burns, McCallum Lind, and Philip McCarthy. So free kick coming here for the Warriors. And it's gonna be Michael Vachon who takes it. He's gonna put that right in the box. Out in front. Shot diverted by a defender, and then it nearly goes in. But it was just to the left as Niall Kelly able to dive in front of it. That was a back pass almost gone disastrous for the Hillers. Medfield will have the corner. Certainly not a fan of these light blue numbers for Medfield. Not the easiest numbers to see. And most of the lights are on here at the new fields. Zahiller is working their way up the far side. Might have a break here. That is Matt Bird working up the far sideline. Hillers work it back into their own territory to try to open things up in the offensive zone. That one's sent out of bounds by uh, Philip McCarthy, got a little too much air under it. Warriors have the throw in from the far side. Header along the sideline by Jake Sherman. Trying to work his way up into midfield territory was Landon York. 
Good pass there towards Andrew Palaco. But Palaco, I don't think, saw it coming as he was matched up running upfield. And it's sent away by the goaltender, Jonathan David. And he was going stride for stride with Zach Conroy. And it's sent back into midfield territory and put out of bounds off of Peyton Burns, who was hoping to break away with it. Throw in for the Warriors. Sola Serta on the entry, out of bounds it goes. Out on the Hillers. That one went off of Andrew Palaco. Medfield trying to work their way up. And McCallum Lynn takes it away. Good footwork there by McCallum Lynn. Sends it out in front. Here's Landon York with the shot. And a great dive by the goaltender, Jonathan David. And he was just able to get to it. That would have been a goal by the Hillers if the goalkeeper didn't intervene. And sneaking up was Matt Bird. That Bird's been all over the field so far tonight. And he's ready to go. Along the far side, here come the Warriors. Out in front. Up the sideline goes McCarthy. Miller's trying to get it out of the attack zone. And Warriors maintain possession. The one knocked out off of a Hiller in front of John McNeil. It was off of uh, Eli Peterson. Medfield will throw it in. We're in the first half, scoreless game between the Medfield Warriors and the Hopkinton Hillers. It is senior night for the Hillers. In the attack zone now. And the box just loaded with defenders. Nice job by the Hillers. Here comes Philip McCarthy. McCarthy trying to show off the wheels. And it's stolen away. Out in front, Warriors might have a shot here. Shot. And out in front, and it's sent out of bounds. Well, McNeil had the shot opportunity, chose the pass, and it was just a little bit too much in front of his intended target to get a clean shot off. Crisis averted for the Hillers. Well, Kelly will send it away. His target there was William DePiero. He was trying to get a number on the shooter who was rushing in. DePiero would have had an easy goal if that just landed a little bit further back. Up the far side is Landon York. Out in front here comes Hopkinton. Throwing along the sideline. Taking it back from Bedfield, John McNeil. Now the Hillers take it right back. Cal Lind had it briefly. Back to midfield we go. That one off of Andrew Keeley. Keeley sends it back to McCarthy. Now along the far side. That's sent up into midfield territory by Mafiori. Out in front. Looking for a shot here. Smart move by Jonathan David. Coming out of the net just enough to scoop that one up before Andrew Plago got to it. Header by McCarthy, another header there by Keeley. Hillers, I'd say, winning the possession battle so far. It's been pretty close, but Hopkinton has certainly had a little bit more possession time than Medfield in this first half. But of course, there's only uh, one statistic that really counts here in uh, soccer, and that is points. Goals. Who's going to score first? This has certainly the makings of a good defensive battle between these two very talented teams. As the Warriors working their way down, here comes McNeil looking for a shot. That one uh, di diverted by Keeley. Wind starting to pick up a little bit. Here on this Thursday night. But this wind certainly uh, nowhere near where Saturday's wind will be. Big storm moving in, uh, nor'easter. Whole lot of wind and rain. 
50, 60 mile an hour gusts, so that might be a good Saturday just to stay indoors. Pass over by McNeil. Working his way down is Perry. Here comes the Warriors out in front. They might have a shot here. And what a job by Niall Kelly sliding out and diverting the attempt of an open shot there by Previtt. That was a saving play there by Kelly. That was an incredible slide to knock that ball away from Previtt, who would have had a wide open shot. We have a Hiller tripped up along the near side. Free kick in favor of Medfield. And Sol Asurda got tangled up with Peyton Burns. Warriors will send it up. Out in front. Nicely done by Keeley. Put that right back towards midfield out of the danger zone. Blaco with the brief touch on it. Now the back pass by McCallum Lind. Up front now. Here comes Palaco. Palaco. Some good footwork there, but just too many Warriors in the area. But now it's stolen away. Shot here. And just a little bit too much too much mustard on that one by Puvacad. Goaltender, Jonathan David will send it down. A lot of action in this first half so far. Along the far side, turned away by Layden for Medfield. Warriors trying to establish possession once again. Shot opportunity here, here's McNeil. Pass over to the corner of the box. The shot out in front, no one there for Medfield. Nice job by the Hillers defenders once again. In the corner, that was Jack Pucci. With a nice pass for the Warriors. Hillers working their way upfield. Shot opportunity here. Around one defender, another one there, and it's taken away. Peyton Burns was able to get by one, but a good steal there by Medfields. Brennan White. Comes the Warriors, John McNeil with possession. Some body contact there with Philip McCarty, and that'll draw the whistle. This is going to be a huge opportunity for Medfield. They're gonna have a free kick. That is going to be about the distance of a penalty kick. Of course, though, there is a number of Hillers defenders on the field, but Huge opportunity here for the Warriors. What will he do? And he's going to air it out and just try to sneak it by the goaltender. That was William Sleeveright. And it's wrapped up by Kelly. Well, if I'm Sleeveright, I'm certainly picking a side and going for the side there. It's going to be tough to score in that situation through the uh, going high or going to the five hole. Hillers trying to work their way back into midfield territory. Good footwork there by Palaco. Turns it around. Pass up by Keeley. Hopkinton just having a tough time in the last few minutes establishing possession in midfield territory. Previtt along the sideline. Gets it over to the box. Shot opportunity diverted. Nicely done by the Hillers defenders once again. The Warriors going to back pass here, position themselves up front. And out of play along the near side. Handful of substitutions for Hopkinton. Tim Fargiano, Russell DeMarco, Owen DeNicola into the game. It is going to be a Hiller's throw in from the near side. Knee there by Lacerda, and a play it goes. Eli Peterson on the throw in once again. Here comes Hopkinton, Povacod. This was back to Keeley. 
Killers trying to work their way up as Ilgabry gets it over towards the far side. comes the Warriors on the chase down Tim Fargiano out front and Philip McCarthy will put up the far sideline Hillers trying to establish a break here but the Warriors defenders holding up very nicely back into Hopkinton territory pass over to the far side by Brennan White White with possession, the back pass there. Over to the near side, that's Lacerda. Lacerda and McNeil along that near sideline for Medfield as the Hillers get it back. There's McNeil stepping in. To Lacerda, good ball distribution by Medfield, but a good steal here by the Hillers along the far side. Out in front and there for Medfield was Brennan White. Well, Owen DeNicola and Andrew Keeley playing nice along that far sideline for the Hillers. And we'll get a whistle here, Medfield substitution. Into the game for the Warriors, Jack Pucci. That's actually uh, Connor Riley, rather. Hiller's throwing. Out in front. Can they get the shot off? Ooh, dangerous move there. Passing to the goaltender. And right on his tail was a Hiller. Right in the area was Andrew Palaco looking to sneak it by. That nearly turned into a disaster for Medfield. Hiller's still working in the danger zone here for the Warriors. Sent up the far side, out of play. Here come the Hillers. Hopkinton trying to establish an attack. It's Landon York along the far side, out in front. Shot opportunity here. And that is wrapped up by the goalkeeper. What a save by Jonathan David. Attempted shot was by Landon New York. Pillars working at midfield. Here comes Keeley. Keeley. Up to the danger zone once again. Pass one Warrior. Over to the far side it goes in front of Owen DeNicola. Along the end line and it's put out of play. Corner or throw in rather for the Hillers. Taking the throw in will be Philip McCarthy. On the entry, end of the box. Taking it away was Peterson, trying to turn it around. On the near sideline, out of play. This one out on Medfield. Throw in for the Hillers. On the entry, into the box, looking for a shot. And that's in! A goal for the Hillers. And that's Michael Puvacod making it one to nothing. Great opportunity, wide open in the box, and put right in. One nothing Hillers. That's what you have to do when you have that type of shooting opportunity. You gotta take advantage of it. That is just what the Hillers needed. Nice one nothing lead here on senior night in the first half. Landon York passes it back over to Keeley. 
Kiolita Peterson. Up the near side now. Peterson with the pass, trying to get it back into the box. And here comes Landon York. York, shot here, and that is just a little bit high. Well, this has been a great last few minutes for the Hillers. They are certainly winning the possession battle over the last four or five minutes, and they are putting the pressure on Medfield. Here comes the Warriors up the far side. Hillers get it back. Out in front. Tracked down by the defender and turned around. Out of play it goes. Throwing for Hopkinton. Maybe another shot here. Wide to the right. That was uh, Landon York. Set down by Jonathan David. Well, Kelly will move it up. And he'll pick it up as James Layden was closing in. Airs it out. Warriors trying to establish possession. There's Perry. Good pass to the corner of the box. Maybe a shot opportunity here. That's Vachon in the area for Medfield. Had a play it goes along the end line and a little bit of uh, words there between McCarthy and Vachon. Got a little physical for a moment. It's going to be a corner or, or not. The official says Hiller's ball. And old Kelly will send it away. Pass over to the near side, El Gabray. Throwing for Medfield, McCordick on the entry. Here's McCordick. Pass out in front. A lot of Hillers surrounding that box. They don't want to let the Warriors get any open opportunities. That shot just wide to the right. There's Nathan Perry on the attempt. one nothing Hillers lead here in the first half. We don't have a clock in front of us, but I believe we're at about the midway point, if not a little further. Nayal Kelly will send it away. Land in New York to pass over to the far side. Here comes the Hillers. Sent down. I believe that was Bird and Hopkinton trying to establish an attack once again. Along the far side, Warriors looking for a shot here. McCarthy puts it out of bounds. Throw in for Medfield. On the entry, out in front. And a shot here, a little bit high. Nice job by uh, Peterson defensively for the Hillers. Now Kelly with a simple pass over the far side. I don't know if I'm the Hillers in this situation. I air it out. Right now they're toying with Medfield a little bit and hanging back in their defensive zone. Don't know if that's the right way to go about it. Forgiano on the far side. Here comes the Warriors as Owen Previtt able to get by a shot here wide to the left. Subs for the Hillers. Matt 
Bird, Andrew Palaco, and Peyton Burns back in the game. Russell DeMarco and Mustafa El Gabriel take a break. Here comes Hopkinton with possession. That's Peyton Burns. Over to the near side. Shown puts it back. That one off of Keeley. Good pass there by Keeley to Burns. Burns turns it around. Opportunity here for the Hillers. Paleko with the shot, and it's wide to the right. That one did not get the arc that he wanted, that's for sure. The Warriors will get to send it away. Back towards midfield. Here comes Hopkinson. Long shot there out of play by Lind. Entering the game for Medfield, William Sleevewright. Brendan Harding comes out. Header by Lind. Lynn trying to turn it around. To the near side. Pass up by Palaco. On the right of the box, Povacod. And out of play goes. Michael Povacod, tremendous athlete. Multi-sport athlete as well. Member of the Hillers basketball team. Well, Hopkinton celebrating senior night tonight. They have a good amount of seniors on this roster that they will certainly miss next year, but some good up and coming talent as well. Along the far side, Ken McCarthy turned it around. And a play it goes, and it is called out on Medfield. That was a nice job by McCarthy. Phil McCarthy was just able to stop it and put it out off of Medfield. Here comes the Warriors. Along the near side, that's McCordick. Now coming down is Sherman. Sent away back upfield, header Puvacod. Callum Lind trying to get it over to the far side. Back and forth we go here in the neutral zone. Sent away by Kelly. And we get a whistle there. A little uh, physical play. And it was a push there that drew the whistle, so Opportunity here for the Warriors. Nathan Perry will have the free kick. And he is going to try to place this perfectly in the box. Placed well out in front, but a nice job by the Hillers. And that shot is wrapped up by Kelly. That was a nice job by Hopkinton, keeping the defenders to the middle of the box and did not give the Warriors any openings to work with. Pass over to the near side. Some body contact there as Palaco was able to get it down. There's Palaco, the pass is up along the near side. It's Peyton Burns. Burns might have a shot here. Puts it wide to the right. And he got a lot of mustard on that one. As the wind's starting to pick up a little bit here at the high school turf fields.
believe this is the third game overall that they've had on these turf fields. They had field hockey girls soccer, and those were both senior nights, and now they have the boys soccer senior night. There's still some work being done, so the project's not totally through. But it is certainly a great addition to Hopkinton High School and well needed. Up the far side. There won't be any more trouble really with snow issues. If snow goes a little later in the season, you can pretty much get it right off of the turf fields and have them ready to go for the most part. Up the far side. That's Puvakad who had possession out stolen away. Warriors trying to work their way back up. I'll tell you, this has been a pretty evenly balanced game. Both teams have had opportunities. And it's been uh, pretty entertaining, very entertaining game. Here comes the Warriors. Maybe a shot here for Previtt. Turned away. Hillers trying to work their way up. Fargiano with the pass up. On the near side, Keeley. Here comes Hopkinton as Peterson gets it up the sideline out in front of Palaco. Palaco trying to get possession, and that's put out of play. Question is, who was it out on? It's out on Medfield. Throw in here. Off the chest of Lind. Out in front. Here comes the Warriors, but not for long. Now they're coming. Here's Nathan Perry. Over to the far side, shot. And out of, no, just along the end line, kept in play. Put over that right corner of the box. Going in for the header was Sherman, but it's out of play. One nothing Hiller's lead here in the first half. Getting towards the final moments. Kelly sends it away. Along the far side, Sherman with the pass over. Put up field by the Hillers. This Hillers defense has done a great job so far. There's been some good opportunities for Medfield, but the defense has held up as McCallum Lind working his way upfield. Along the far side, and we get a whistle. And it's going to be a free kick after some substitutions for Medfield. John McNeil, Patrick Thompson, Connor Riley into the game. Nathan Perry, Jake Sherman will have a break. Header by McCallum Lind. Sent into Hiller's territory. And it's picked up by Kelly with a warrior closing in. Sent up towards midfield. That was John McNeil who was closing in. The light blue numbers certainly don't make it easy when you're uh Trying to call this game. Up the far side. Try to turn it around. Back and forth we go in Hiller's territory. Here comes Hopkinton. Pass up. 
play along the near side. Throwing for Peterson. Eli Peterson with the pass down. Over to Keeley. Keeley over to Blaco. Peterson trying to work his way up the near side. And a play it goes. Warriors throwing. Hillers maintaining their 1-0 lead. Warriors putting the pressure on, but the Hillers defense holding strong. Philip McCarthy chases this down. Kelly sends it away. That was just before Previtt got there. Turned up field. Midfield trying to get set. Back and forth in the neutral zone. Here's McCordick. Little body contact there with Paleko. And we get a whistle. And I believe that was a halftime whistle. But we'll keep things here to be sure. And it was. So after one half of play, it's going to be Hopkinton one, Medfield nothing. Great half of soccer there. Both teams played very well, but the Hillers, they took advantage of a nice open opportunity. And Michael po Povigod was able to put it right in for Hopkinton. Warriors putting the pressure on, but the Hillers defense has been outstanding so far tonight. At the half, Hopkinton won, midfield nothing. We'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Soccer Senior Night on HCAM, second half up next. Welcome back to the new turf fields here at Hopkinton High School. We are ready for the second half. It's a one nothing lead for the Hillers as we have switched ends, just about ready to go. And I'll tell you, that was a tremendous first half performance by Hopkinton, very impressive. Midfield certainly had some shooting opportunities, but the defense just held up and the Warriors just could not break through. Most of their shots were off balance. And the defense just did a great job at covering up the middle of the box and not giving the Warriors a clean shot. And that's why the Hillers were able to maintain their one nothing lead. Tom Nappy on the call here at Hopkinton High School, Matt Clark, our cameraman. We thank you for joining us for Hillers Boys Varsity Soccer on this senior night. And we are ready to play on into the second half. Warriors will start with possession. Standing in the center circle, that is James Layden. Here we go. Can Medfield respond? Let's find out. Along the far side, out of play. It'll be a throw in for Medfield. Owen Previtt will take it. Previtt on the entry, right into the box he goes. Header by Andrew Gone, out of bounds it goes. Warriors will have the corner kick. There's a shot, little bit too high. That shot by Brennan White. And that was just a little bit too high there. But if that was a tad lower, that one was gonna go in. Here comes the Hillers. Pass down over towards DeNicola is diverted. And now we're going to have a whistle here as a shooken up uh, midfield player rises to his feet, James Layden. And this is going to be a free kick for the Warriors. Airs it out. Up top, Puvakad able to turn it around. 
Here comes the Hillers down the far side. With possession, that's Palaco. Out of play it goes. On the far sideline, back out of play. Warriors have it. Puvacad was trying to get it down to the far side corner. Hillers with a strong possession here. To the box it goes out in front. Hopkinton with an opportunity. Coming down now is Normando. Out in front, pass to Normando, trying to set up a shot. And it's turned away. Out in front, McCallum Lind. Pass over to the near side. Normando puts it towards the attack zone. Turn it around there was Peterson and it's wrapped up by the goalkeeper, Jonathan David. And that was just as a Hiller came rushing in. Here comes Hopkinson once again. And stolen away as Landon York was trying to drive down. Getting it right back now is Lind. Lind's tripped up, there's a whistle. Free kick, Hopkinton. Taking the kick will be Puvacad. So we're a couple minutes into this second half, and that one is just a little bit too high by Puvacad. We'll take you through the TVL standings in just a moment for boys soccer. Believe it or not, we're in the last week of the regular season. The last day you can get games in is the 29th. So most teams only have about two or three more games left to go overall. Let's take a look at the boys' soccer standings. As the officials, I think, having a word with a group of students over along the far side. Not quite sure what it's about. But now, ready to send it away is Jonathan David. Medway, 13 wins, one loss, three ties, 29 points there in the postseason. Medfield in the postseason, a 10-5 and one record, 21 points. Norton, 12-1 and two, 26 points there in the postseason. Hopkinton, 7-4 and four, 18 points is in. Holliston, 11, 1, and 3, 25 points is in. Dover Sherborne, 8, 2, and 5, 21 points is in. Westwood, 8, 5, and 2, 18 points is in the postseason. Here comes the Hillers up the far side. And now the Warriors trying to establish possession. Teams that have not qualified Ashland, who is 4, 12, and 1, 9 points. Norwood, 2, 13, and 1, 5 points. Bellingham, 3, 13, and 1, 7 points. Millis 214 and one five points. And this team is not qualified yet, but they still have a chance. Dedham, seven wins, eight losses, one tie, 15 points for Dedham. They're just three points away from qualifying. Over to the near side to Nicola. Passes it back. Hoping for a shot here. And it's turned away. That was a good steal there by Medfield. Was getting to it was Lacerda. Along the near side. Good footwork there by Layden. Joseph Layden the fourth. Doing battle with uh, Russell Del Marco along the near sideline. Here comes Medfield. Andrew Keeley takes it away. He goes over to the far side with it. 
Cowlin to midfield. Pass by Landon York over to Normando. And now driving down is DeMarco. And we get a whistle as DeMarco feeds it over to his left to DeNicola. It's going to be in favor of Medfield. Sent away by Jonathan David, the goalkeeper. Here comes the Warriors. Over to midfield. Callum Lind was trying to establish possession. Pass by late in the fourth to the goalkeeper to let his teammates get set up. On the far side, the Warriors trying to get the upper hand here in the possession battle. Little push there, no whistle. Armando along the near side. Here comes Medfield. Trying to establish an attack. Over to the near side. Pass by Sherman. And the Hillers defenders are there. Nice job by Philip McCarthy. He's just been essential to this defense. DeMarco puts it down the near side. DeNicola on the chase down. DeNicola maybe with a shot here. And no, just could not. Get to it in time. He was able to slide and tap it, but certainly uh, not what he wanted to do there. David sends it away, header McCarthy. Along the far side for Bedfield, that's Nathan Perry. Over to Vachon. Now to Sherman. To the end line, Sherman is not able to keep it in. Hillers will get to send it away. Lyle Kelly, the goalkeeper for Hopkinton, doing a nice job tonight. He's in his senior year. Next year it's expected that Tyler Zanini will take over. Zanini a junior. Sends it away. Out of play along the near side. Mafiori on the throw in. That one was off of Puvacod. Warriors trying to take possession. Pass over to Sherman. There's some good footwork by Medfield along the near side. Is working his way up as Vachon. That was uh, William Sleevewright who was able to. Keep possession for Medfield. Now in the danger zone, turned away. Hiller's defenders, as they always do, stack in that box. And Landon York being put to work there will put it out of bounds past the end line. The Warriors are going to have a corner kick. A 1 0 lead for the Hopkinton Hillers here in this second half. The only goal of the game scored in the first half. Medfield with the corner here. Or excuse me, it was actually, uh, they uh, passed rather than went to the box. And a little switch up there. Do the Hillers have a break here? And it's put out of bounds along the near side. That was uh, Russell DeMarco trying to break up field. Hillers will have the throw in. On the entry, it is Justin Normando. That was over to DeMarco, now Landon York. Pass over to the corner. Shot here, no, diverted by a defender. It was centered up nicely, but the midfield defender just able to get in front of Russell DeMarco. You have another one, airs it out, a little too high. Well, DeMarco nearly had another Hiller's goal there. And he did a nice job coming into the game in the second half. 
I'm sure we'll see more of him throughout the course of the evening. Calm Lind with the headbutt. Turn around by Normando. We get a whistle here in favor of the Hillers. Justin Normando will have the free kick. Normando lets it rip. It's a beauty. Had her by a defender playing far back. That was a great kick by Normando. Here comes the Warriors. Not for long as Matt Bird gets involved. He's had a nice game tonight. McNeil trying to get it down for Medfield. Normando turns it away. Had her by Parry. Back to midfield we go. Puvacad with the pass down to Bird. Puvacad trying to get back for Hopkinson. Put out of bounds by Bird. Along the near side. Here comes John McNeil. He was up against uh, Justin Normando. Out of play it goes. Throw in for the Warriors. On the entry, Owen Previtt. Out in front. Hiller's defenders get the job done once again. Out of play along the near side, Medfield Bowl. Owen Previtt will have the throw in. The official uh, telling one of the Hiller's players to uh, pull up the socks. Is going to have a sub come in here. Coming into the game for Hopkinton is Tim Fargiano. Well, there must have been some kind of uh, uniform uh, problem there for Lind. Hiller is trying to work up into Medfield territory. Having a tough time doing so in the last few minutes as Medfield trying to put some pressure on. Opportunity here. With possession, that is Previtt. Looking for a shot around one Hiller. There's McCarthy's shot and it's wrapped up. Nice job by Kelly. That was just a good job by Niall Kelly wrapping that one up. And now he'll get to send it away, but before he does, it looks like we have a killer who's a little shooken up. It's Landon York with a bit of a limp as he walks towards the near sideline, so I think we're gonna see a substitution here. He is walking under his own power, so doesn't appear to be serious. Could have just been a slight ankle twist or some kind of injury along those lines. I would say ankle injuries are probably the most common injury when it comes to soccer. Ankle injuries and knee injuries. Hopefully it's not a knee injury. He's grabbing at his right knee, so we certainly hope he's okay. Landon York, key part of the Sillers team. Along the near side, out of play. Throwing for the Warriors. On the entry, Jake Sherman. Sherman threw it over towards Riley as Lacerda with the pass over to the far side. Hopkinton takes it back briefly, but now the Warriors have it once again. Medfield certainly winning the possession battle in the last few minutes, but now the Hillers might have a break here. To the near side of Bird, leaves it out in front. It's three on three here in the attack zone. Along the far side, DeMarco. DeMarco with the shot, and it's picked up by the goalkeeper. Jonathan David able to wrap it up. 
That was a nice, uh, some nice pressure there by the Hillers. As David sends it away. Better by Burns. Pass down by Paleko. Along the far side and out of play. Hillers will get to send it away. Or excuse me, Medfield will uh, try to send it away. And no, it looks like they're going to change the call here. That's a corner. And the goalkeeper, Jonathan David, not happy about that call at all. But the Hillers will take it, and they have a big opportunity here. And a pass to the right of the box. A shot out in front. Nicely done by the defender. And he's able to turn it upfield. That crisis averted by Medfield. It's back towards Normando. The near side over to Bird. To Fargiano, who's hoping for a shot. This game has just been full of momentum shifts. You get a period of time where Medfield's really putting the pressure on. They'll get three or four shots off. And then the Hillers respond right back. And it's really just been about who can find that opening. And the Hillers so far tonight have been the only team to find an opening. Pass over by Harding. Here comes Puvakad. That's Puvakad along the far side. He passes it to his right. Back to Puvakad. That's Puvakad and uh, Mafiori. Shot there. And that is just a little bit high. And that hit the top of the net. Could have been the backbreaker right there if that one went in. We're about at the midway point here of this second half. Hiller is holding on to a one nothing lead. Throwing for the Warriors, Sherman with the entry. Over to Layden. Shot opportunity here. Defender slides in and that shot turned away. Nathan Perry with the shot. But it was a tremendous defensive effort by Andrew Keeley. Keeley sacrificed his body there, knew he had to somehow get in front of it. That was just a great slide. Sent away. On the near side, Sherman. Peyton Burns was trying to get it for the Hillers as he went up against Vachon. Out of bounds. Throw in for the Hillers. Justin Normando will take it. Header, here comes DeMarco, nope. Midfield knows that time, not on their side as we are in the second part of the second half. One nothing lead for the Hillers. Pass in front of Vachon, airs it out. Too much on that one. will get to send it away and looks like we might have got a uh, warning for one of the players along the near side. I think it was
there's a warning for a couple players on both teams. Header out by Peterson. Out of bounds along the far side, throwing for Medfield. And the Warriors and Hillers are going to sub three each. Owen DeNicola, Landon, New York. McCallum Lind into the game for the Hillers. Throw in here for the Warriors in Hillers territory. Big opportunity. Into the box. Header by the defender out of play. Another good job by the Hillers defense. Warriors will get set to send it away. Back towards midfield. And the uh, student section releasing some of the balloons. Certainly a good turnout here. Hopkinton with an opportunity. Out in front, turned away. Hiller's keeping the pressure on. At this point, they're going to try to hold on to possession. Try to burn some time off the clock. Pass down. On the far side for the Hillers is Keeley. That's put out of play along the end line, so there's going to be a corner here. And check that, they changed the call. So it'll be Medfield ball. It's been a couple of those uh, situations tonight where the officials changed the possession arrow. Along the far side, a shot out in front. Off the goalkeeper's hands and out of play. Hillers are gonna have a corner. It'll be taken from the near side. Into the box, out in front. Shot opportunity here, and it is just a little wide to the left. There's Landon York on the attempt. Along the far side. Well, Hillers in the postseason, but they could certainly use a couple more wins in the last week of the regular season to try to get a home field matchup. And certainly uh, playing on the road in the postseason is not easy. Throw in Phil McCarthy. Had a play off a warrior, I believe. But with the way tonight has gone, they might change it. It is going to be a corner for the Hillers. Into the box. And sent away. Nothing but Hillers though in the neutral zone. Pass up by York. And ends up going a little bit further than he wanted it. He was looking for McCallum Lind.
Goalkeeper sends it away. Well, it's certainly been a busy day for Jonathan David. He's been put under a lot of pressure by the Hillers. Into the neutral zone. Here comes the Warriors. With possession, Brennan White being chased down by Puvakad. Over in the corner, it's Fashone. Leaves it out in front. Shot way too high there by James Layden. I don't know what he was aiming at. He might have thought he was kicking a field goal. Probably went about 50 yards. David will, or excuse me, Niall Kelly will air it out for Hopkinton. Out in front, Warriors with an opportunity. Into the box it goes, turned away. Vachon was the one trying to get a shot off for Medfield. Warriors are gonna have the corner. It's a nice job though by Normando. And actually it's gonna be a throw in towards the corner. That one is off of McCarthy. And a little too much on that one by Previtt, who's trying to center it up. Shot here into the box. Warriors still with possession. Over to Layden. That's turned around. Wide to the right goes Nathan Perry. Oh, another example of the Hillers defenders not letting Medfield Get any type of clean shot. And Hopkinton, they have been very quick to do just absolutely stack the attack zone. And we're approaching uh, the last 10 minutes or so of this second half. So Medfield certainly running out of time a little bit. Play on, says the official, and it's sent away by Kelly. Well, Kelly's done a very nice job in net so far tonight. Here comes Nathan Perry, turned away by Lind. Along the far side. And uh, Hiller was able to sneak in there, but Medfield still maintains possession. And a play it goes. Throw in for the Warriors. Previtt will have the throw in. That was a nice job by, uh, I believe it was Mustafa Elgabri who was able to sneak in and break up the action. Slow down this midfield offense. Warriors working into the attack zone, but you got five hillers stacking up that box and making sure that midfield doesn't get a straight shot. Throw in for the Warriors. Owen Previtt will take it. Previtt airs it out. In the air goes Puvakad. Puvakad to the near side and out of play. Throw in Medfield. Jake Sherman takes it. Off of Vachon. Here's Layden the fourth. To sleeve right. Turned away by Normando. Out of play it goes. Throw in for Medfield. Over to Vachon. Pass back to Layden. Warriors. Have established uh, some possession here in the last few minutes, but they have not been able to get any clean shots off. That one's sent out in front by DeNicola on the chase down, DeMarco. DeMarco with some body contact with Brennan White. White with a little body check there, and now trying to slow down DeMarco. About time there's a whistle. White was all over DeMarco. I don't know why the whistle took long. 
it took that long at least, but Hillers have a big opportunity here. Mafiori on the free kick. What is he gonna do here? Is he gonna center it up or try to angle it right in the net? He's gonna center it up. Header, goal! Two nothing, Hillers. That was a beauty of a header. And I believe that was McCallum Lind on the header. And that is probably the uh, nail in the coffin for Medfield. And it was indeed McCallum Lind with an absolutely beautiful header to put it in. Two nothing, Hopkinton. And if you beat this Medfield team, that is a huge win. And that gives, you, that should really boost your confidence heading into the postseason. As the Warriors work their way up. Medfield knows that they have to put the pressure on now at all costs. But this Hiller's defense just holding strong all game long as Jake Sherman on the throw in. Pass up. There's Nathan Parry. On that corner of the box, it's Eli Peterson along with Brennan White. Shot here, there's the midfield goal. This game not quite over yet. And that was James Layden, and now we got some pushing and shoving going on here. And we might see some yellow cards coming out soon. James Layden puts it in for Medfield, and then things got a little bit ugly there. It's a two to one game, so the Hillers thought for a moment that it might be over, but James Layden says, nope, not over yet. Warriors continue to hang around. Now, I haven't seen any cards yet, amazingly, but I think there was certainly some uh, verbal warnings. Now the official just going to both benches and saying, hey, keep your cool. Officials, they don't want this game to be decided on a penalty shot. That's why they're very hesitant to pull out the cards. They don't want to give a team an unfair advantage unless it's just a penalty that's so bad, you just have to. So Hiller's going to have possession. A two to one ball game. Whole lot of defense early on, but this last minute, it's been pretty crazy. So I think the officials pretty much said, hey, next time anything like that happens, there's gonna be some cards. Two to one game. Can the Warriors get back into it? We're approaching the last few minutes of this second half. My calculations are correct. We're about 33 minutes into the second half. Actually, a little more than that, about 35 minutes. So we got about five minutes left to go. Callum Lind with possession. Lind had a tremendous header off a terrific free kick by Landon York. Along the far side, McCordick. Here comes Hopkinton, that's uh, Puvacad. Pass to the corner, and that is passed over by Paleko in a header, and it's wrapped up by the goalkeeper. 
Oh, David was able to get in front of that header by Normando. Or excuse me, uh, Matt Bird rather. Here comes the Hillers. Puvacad with the pass back. Trying to establish possession is McCallum Lind. Along the far side is Keeley. Warriors have it now. This could be their uh, last opportunity to try to tie this game up. Along the near side, that's Joseph Layden. Pass to Sherman, now it's back to Layden. And Layden puts it out. It went off of McCarthy and had a play, so it's a throw in for Medfielder off of uh, Nick Skiba, rather. Owen Previtt on the entry. Out in front, header. And just had a play along the end line. That was off of a Warrior, so the Hillers will get the boot away. And it looks like we have a shooken up uh, midfield player, but he's now to his feet. And classy move there by uh, McCallum Lind helping uh, Michael Vachon to his feet. Along the far side. Warriors, do they have one last attack in them? Sherman trying to establish possession along the far side. Throwing for Medfield. Out in front, put out of play. Was off of Medfield. Philip McCarthy into the game for the Hillers. Nick Skiba will come out. Hillers clinging on to a two to one lead here in the last few minutes of this second half. Two midfield, that went off of Lind. Header there by McNeil who's able to get it up the near side. Chased down by Normando. Hillers playing keep away now. Here's Lind. Lynn, nice pass to the near side. Now let's put down the sideline by Forgiano. Now the Warriors trying to establish a possession. They certainly need to very soon. Here's Vachon. Out in front, Sherman chasing it down. Body contact there with Fargiano, no whistle. Sherman with possession put out of bounds by McCarthy. Medfield's gonna have a corner here. And this might be their last opportunity to try to get a point in this game. It's going to be Brennan White taking it. Four and a half minutes I'm hearing on the sidelines. So there's a little bit more time left. The Warriors certainly got to keep the pressure on as that one's put out of play. I'm assuming the four and a half includes stoppage time. Throw in for the Warriors. It's certainly been an action filled game tonight by both sides as this shot just a little bit high. The Warriors. Had a shot opportunity there, but just a little bit high by Nathan Parry. Aired out up the far side. Here comes the Warriors. McNeil over towards Sherman. Sherman centers it up. Turned around by Layden. Past the near side, back to Layden. Layden and Sherman working with each other. Out in front, Hiller's defenders ready for it. Nice job getting it out of there by McCallum Lind. Midfield on the throw in. I'll tell you what, the Hillers, they need to get the ball back and 
Get out of their defensive zone. McNeil. That one sent away. Nice job by Normando. That was off the chest of uh, DeMarco. And we get a whistle in favor of Medfield. Or excuse me, the Hillers. Will be a free kick for Hopkinton. And Justin Normando uh, taking his time with it. You got Russell DeMarco tying his cleat as well, or uh, Michael Puvacod, rather. Normando airs it out. Big leg on that one. Into the box, wrapped up by the goalkeeper, David. David's going to get rid of it quick. Medfield running out of time. A 2-1 to -one lead for the Hillers here in the final few minutes. McNeil. Along the sideline with Normando, he goes out of play. The ball goes. Hopkinton possession. Normando on the throw in. That's a nice one as he was trying to get it over to Peyton Burns. Warriors working their way up. McNeil briefly had it. Hiller's putting the pressure on. Medfield keeping possession, however. Parry trying to get it over to McNeil. Danicola gets involved. And now coming up is Sherman. Sherman goes off of Fargiano and out of bounds. This is going to be a throw in, I believe. And it is throw in from the near side corner. There it is, out in front. And the Hillers defenders holding up so far but then put out of bounds by DeNicola. I don't know why he put it out past the end line. He could have turned that around, but he didn't. I'm guessing he was unsure if any Warriors were nearby. Header by the goalie. Shot way too high. There's been a lot of high shots by Medfield tonight as Leiden puts that one out of play. Hillers will air it out. Pretty good boot there. Medfield running out of time. As the Hillers work into midfield territory. That's wrapped up. And that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take the 2-1 to win on senior night. A beauty of a performance by the Hillers tonight. Your goal scorers are Michael Puvaka in the first half, and then you got McCallum Lind with a header in the second half. A great win by the Hillers tonight. And it certainly doesn't get any better than a takedown. Your TVL rival, Medfield Warriors, on senior night. The Hillers improve to eight wins, four losses, four ties, and have 20 points overall. Medfield falls to 10 wins, six losses, and one tie, and has 21 points overall. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers take down the Medfield Warriors on senior night by a final score of two to one. For Matt Clark on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Soccer on HCAM. Good night and enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.